Meanwhile, pro-China front-runner Mohamed Moizu has won the runoff to Maldives presidential polls after beating the India-friendly Ibrahim Mohamed Saleh. The result is set to once again upend the archipelago's relationship with its traditional partner, India. While the outcome signals a likely shift in both domestic governance and foreign policy of the island nation, in the closely fought competition, Moizu garnered about 54% of the votes, while Sole secured nearly 16, pardon me, 46%. Well, the vote for change in the Maldives comes after a strong anti-incumbency sentiment against the Sole administration. In fact, it was fueled after former President Sole came under sharp attack from the opposition for his stated India first policy. Ahead of the second round of presidential polls, the president-elect Mohamed Moizu promised to safeguard the country's independence and sovereignty, while New Delhi has uh, pressed for the, for the continuity of India's infrastructure projects across the island nation. The newly elected leader will also seek to balance India-China ties. The top two candidates had made big promises on housing, which is a preoccupation for the Maldivian voters. And after the counting was closed on Saturday, former President Soleil took to the social media platform X to, to congratulate the new presidential-elect Moizu. While the president-elect is expected to take office on the 17th of November, he already has tasks lined up. This as the country faces multiple challenges of mounting debt, dwindling foreign reserves and heightening climate risks. Maldives President-elect Mohamed Moizu's win comes at the heels of Maldives preparing for a referendum, which is scheduled for the coming month. The plebiscite is for citizens to decide if the country must switch to parliamentary system of governance, which is, which is also one of the major reasons for Mr. Saleh's defeat. Now, Maldives has been under India's sphere of influence for a long time. The diplomatic ties and the presence has given Delhi the ability to monitor a key part of the Indian Ocean. Meanwhile, China, with its rapidly expanding naval forces, is also eyeing access to such a strategically important location. In fact, Beijing is also keen to protect its energy supplies from the Gulf, which passes through this area. Now, with both economic powerhouses vying for influence in the island nation, the diplomatic shifts in Maldives may come with a huge cost. Now, let's get you up to date with who is Maldives' president-elect. The 45-year-old Mohamed Moizu was the former mayor of capital Mali and has been unapologetic about his pro-China positioning. He belongs to the main opposition party, which is the Progressive Party of Maldives. In the run-up to the polls, he had pledged to expel Indian military personnel stationed in Maldives. While his main agenda is to switch the geopolitical dynamics of the region, Moizu has also been championing the India Out campaign. In the last decade, New Delhi gave the Maldives two helicopters and an aircraft. In 2021, the Maldivian Defence Force said that about 75 Indian military personnel were based in the country to operate and maintain the Indian aircraft.